wear out. We're machines. We're biological machines, but we wear out. Cells, our cells are dying all the time. These very small fraction of cells in our bodies, in different areas in our bodies, in different tissues, which have the capacity to sit dormant, relatively dormantly. And when they're needed, they can replicate, they can divide and generate more new cells. Uh, what these stem cells do is uh, they have to recognize when they're needed to divide and then they have to form the right type of cell. The work we've been doing here at the Lunenfeld Tannenbaum has been led by people like Andres Naj, for example, who um, have been trying to understand the molecular details of why and how cells make the decision to form a particular type of cell. Stem cells are cool. At the same time, stem cells are hot. And really, it's a hot topic nowadays because there's an enormous promise in the cells that we will be able to cure diseases which are associated with tissue degeneration and we can replace those damaged cells and tissues which are underlying diseases, big diseases like diabetes, spinal cord injury, arthritis, and uh, there's a long, long list of those. So what Andras and his team have been able to do is to identify and describe and then manipulate the specific processes which cells undertake in order to become, for example, a skin cell or uh, a blood vessel, uh, endothelial cell. One of the key things is we need to understand what makes a stem cell a stem cell. So I was lucky enough to work on a project called Project Grandiose that was a brainchild of Dr. Andras Naj. About 50 uh, scientists from four continents where I kind of organized together about four years ago to one single purpose and one single goal to understand the magic. The magic of uh, generating stem cells. In the past year, we've been able to basically mine this data and start to make kidney cells from stem cells much more efficiently than we ever thought possible. There is a great urgency to try and develop a biological replacement. It will preclude the use of uh, metals and plastics, which really don't belong in the body. And you will end up with normal tissue. We are working on the kidney, we're working on stem cells trying to make a three-dimensional organ, but what we're learning is applicable to all three-dimensional organs. It's the same sort of tricks. You may start with slightly different stem cells, you will probably need different growth factors, but it's a modification on a, on a theme. So what we're learning to do with kidney, we'll be able to apply to the liver, we'll be able to apply to the pancreas, for example. The work we're doing now will translate into better therapies, better tests, better diagnostics, uh, which we will we'll be seeing in the not too distant future. The ability to see things that nobody has ever seen before and to apply it uh, to a discovery that will help people is the most um, amazing feeling.